An emulator? Are you saying a real one exists somewhere else? Affirmative. Affirmative? Cosmos, how do you know all of this? I never stored any type of information like that in your main databank. You... You're the creator of that thing. And yet, you didn't even know about that? Commander Cherenkov! Are you alright? Let's get out of here. Commander, your body's... Escape? What are you talking about? You think you'll survive through something like this? That's right. I... I was the one behind the disappearance of the planet Ariadne. All that mattered was the recovery of the emulator. That was the reason behind the deployment of Vector and the military. They were really only pawns. But in spite of all that... Photon, lepton, hadron, and graviton scans read negative. Then, what is it that we're seeing? It's the same, just like that day. spreads before your eyes. This light once symbolized civilization, the very will of the human race. But what can be gleaned from the light we see today? The people of this world have cast away their will to create, drowning themselves instead in an endless cycle of consumption. What you see now is the deceitful light cast by their stagnant eyes. The Commander? But... who's that with him? The people you've encountered in your lifetime are not people at all. They are less than human, mere sacks of flesh and bone. Only upon the realization of self-will can a person truly be called a man. You chose to reject the false light, refused to succumb to their lies. That's why you never faltered, even after all the personality reconditioning. The 
commander underwent personality reconditioning? Long ago, man was forced to leave behind his homeland. This was brought about by the masses who extinguished the very light that drove their will. So how about it, Cherenkov? Let us rekindle the torch. So that human consciousness may once again be resurrected. For our sake and that of our God. Happiness? Were those my feelings just now? No. It must have been the Commander's feelings. Commander... What was it that you were searching for? Commander. I never really existed at all. I... 36 years ago, the year after the Zoar incident, which led up to the Milshin conflict, I was brought into this world as a weapon of warfare. It happened all the time back then. Killing was my... No, our whole reason for existence. The fortunate ones were those who could adapt to that way of life. Even luckier were those who died on the battlefield. But I was never granted that opportunity. Before I could find some significance to my own life, the war ended. And I was left behind while the world went on. I tried to adapt. But the language I spoke was so different from the rest of the world. I thought the entire world had rejected me. But the commander, it felt like he really needed me. I saw a future for myself in the commander. Or I wanted to, at least. But I had to rely on the drugs to communicate with the rest of the world. It was because I hadn't changed. After everything that happened, I hadn't changed at all. Now I finally understand. The world didn't reject me, I rejected the world. Shion, I like it here. I'm the only living thing that exists in this place. There's nothing else. No anger, no sadness, no happiness. Not even a future. The only thing that's here is me. And that'll eventually fade away. It feels good. This is exactly what I've been searching for all this time. Xion, you'll eventually find yourself here too. I'm sure of it. It won't be much longer. I know. I can tell. Shion. Chaos! What just happened? Where is he? 
What have we done? Tell me. Ziggy, did something happen? Ziggy? It's nothing you need to worry about. I'm sorry. Was that really the commander? Tell me, Chaos. Surely we didn't. Sion, the truth isn't always a pleasant thing to know. Chaos, are we all going to end up like him? We're still here, and none of us have turned into Gnosis. Perhaps we can take solace in that. Here, stand up. Okay. Ugh. The connection between the Phenomenon boundaries is dissipating. If this continues, this spatial location will disappear. We are in danger. This isn't good. It's the Elsa. Jeez, those guys were damn lucky we were passing by. What the hell are they doing here? Well, whatever. All guns, target the Gnosis! Cut open an escape path for the Elsa and annihilate the enemy! Sounds like the fighting started. Are we gonna be okay? There were so many of them when we transferred in. They destroyed an entire Federation fleet. It would be wiser for us to flee than fight. This is no good. We'll never get all of them. What should we do? We should have resupplied earlier. This is what I get for taking on the UTIC. Otherwise, this would be a cinch. Little Master, enemy group formation approaching from 5 o'clock. We're being surrounded on all sides. So they're not gonna let us go, huh? And they've coordinated their attack patterns. I've never seen them fight like this before. Even if we gate jump out of here, we may not be able to shake them. Little Master, another group is chasing after the Elsa! Captain! Hey, you all right? Tony, can you lose them? I doubt it. They're a lot faster than we are. Damn it. The Durandal's guns aren't slowing them down. What are we gonna do? Huh? Hatch number 17 is open? Was somebody still down there? It's Cosmos. What is she? I'll put it on the monitor. Cosmos! Shion. 
we're feeling pain make me complete